supporting Toronto's entertainment sector. A city like Amsterdam, Paris, London, they have what's called a nightmare. New York City in its $10 billion a year entertainment industry is looking at hiring a nightmare. But what about Toronto? Well, City News has learned that early in the new year, a staff report down at City Hall will be released. This so they'll have some recommendations to look at specifically bringing on a nightmare. And there, John Tory's office responded with this statement saying, Turn right on Lake Louise Drive, then take the first left. Turn left on Whiteface Crescent. In 500 meters, turn left on Chinkamakazi Road. Turn left at the traffic light, then take the first right. When a family of deer became trapped behind a plaza near Eggleton and Kennedy, being a new parent is stressful at the best of times. But imagine raising a one-year-old and a newborn in an unused lot near Kennedy and Eggleton. Yes, it's an on-site deer grazing in the back of a strip mall, but not too far fetched, according to Natalie Carbone. Turn right at the traffic light. Park, 
Carter Hart's expected to get the start between the pipes. His third of the tournament. He's got a 9-10 save percentage so far. Puck drop is at 8 o'clock. That's one of the four games across the tournament schedule today. Happening now, Switzerland has, is trailing Sweden 3-2 after two periods. Sweden's going to start the third period on the power play. Earlier today, the Czech scored five goals. In the take the ramp on the right to, to Highway 4, 10 South. Russians with the win, the Czechs take over second in Group B. Belarus finishes the round robin 0 and 4. Coming up in just under 15 minutes, Slovakia takes on Finland. A regulation win for either team puts them in second in Group A and point back up the Canadians. The Leafs are off today, but there are six games across the NHL sked with three Canadian teams in action. The Senators welcome the Boston Bruins to the Canadian Tire Center for a 7 o'clock start on Sportsnet. The Montreal Canadiens will look to get their offense going in Florida tonight. They've scored two or less in 21 of their 38 games. You can catch that one on CBC. And then at 10, the Vancouver Canucks will look to get some momentum going when they host the LA Kings. You can watch that one on Sportsnet. The Raptors are off till Tuesday when they host Milwaukee. Seven games across the association tonight, including the Cavs and Jazz. They tip off at 8 o'clock. You can watch it on Sportsnet 1. And Serena Williams returned to the courts earlier today. In 5 kilometers, take exit 7 on the right to Route 15. This is 680 News. For discovering places we know little about and seeing faces we can't live without. For better jobs, bigger dreams, dinner parties in and day nights out. For you, for me, for all of us, for a greater region. See how Metrolinx is making our region greater by building a transit system that takes us farther, faster, and brings us closer than ever before. Visit Metrolinx.com, an agency of the Government of Ontario. It's that time of the year. Deals on everything, everywhere you go. But there's only one that matters. The holiday event is on now with GMC. Get up to $4,500 in total value on the new 2018 Sierra 1500 Double Cap Elevation Edition when you apply for a GM card. Do the holiday. And every day, like a pro. Offer ends January 2nd. Visit gmccanada.ca for details. 680 News, time 349. Now the green file, here's 680 News, gardening specialist Mark Cullen. Every year I grow a number of amaryllis bulbs. I start them one week apart to prolong the stunning floral show. And it's the easiest of bulbs to grow indoors. Once it's finished blooming, cut the flower stem back to about 2 inches in height or 5 centimeters. Allow the leaves to continue to grow and water when the soil feels dry. In late September, cut back the foliage, dry the bulb for two weeks at about 14 degrees Celsius, and then store for about 10 weeks in a cool, dark place. At the end of this storage period, repot your amaryllis bulb in fresh potting mix and start the cycle all over again. With the Green File, I'm Mark Cullen. Well, he's known as Adventure Man, and he's back in Canada. In 2013, Jamie McDonald ran more than 8,000 kilometers across Canada in a flash costume to raise money for Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. And he's back again, this time on a book tour with some of the profits being donated to Sick Kids. McDonald says the hospital holds a special place in his heart. When I was about five years old, I woke up and I couldn't move my legs. Uh, eventually, the doctor found I had a rare condition called streptomyelia. So I spent most of my life in a children's hospital. Uh, so I started out on my journey to, to do big adventures, to give back to the hospitals that helped me, and then now I'm kind of fundraising for children. In one and a half kilometers, take exit 7 on the right to rural Route 15, then take the first left. Mr. Jamie McDonald. Hi, I'm Steve Friedman from the Chesterfield Shop. We're proud to offer you the best all year round. Best seating, best quality, best service. But right now, during our famous Chesterfield Shop Boxing Week sale, we can also offer you our best prices of the year. On behalf of my family and everyone at the Chesterfield Shop, we wish you the very best. The great Boxing Week savings continue at all five locations. Close New Year's Day. Take exit 7 on the right to Rural Route 15, then take the first left. Life is stressful enough. Figuring out what to feed your kids shouldn't be. 
download to today's parent meal time app and say goodbye to that last minute dinner stress. Turn or left at the traffic light. Worth of meals, browse thousands of recipes, and even generate your grocery list right in the app. With a little prep, you're all set. The free today's parent meal time app. Meal planning made easy. Download it today. 650 News Time 351. Now traffic and weather together on the ones with Christine Legos. This report is brought to you by 407 ETR. You'll find delays on the eastbound 401 from east of Winston Churchill to Mavis. And that's where traffic spotters report we have a problem here. It's over on the shoulder, though, but that's the reason for this backup. Eastbound 401 is busy from the 427 to east of Kipling, east of the 400 to Keel and the Collectors. Westbound 401 is busy from Leslie to Avenue Road, alternately Express and Collectors. Still heavy approaching Kipling to Dixon and again approaching here on Ontario Express and Collectors to Mavis. Now, having a look at the southbound 404 Don Valley, what a delay from approaching the 401 Express all the way down to just approaching Don Mills, where a collision is blocking the left lane. Tow trucks have made it to the scene. Northbound Don Valley Parkway is in pretty good shape. It's just busy from Eglinton to York Mills. Now, on the eastbound QEW at Burl Oak, we have a truck rollover, and the right lane is still blocked with emergency vehicles. Delays from Guelph Line and again from here, Ontario to Dixie. And once you get onto the eastbound Gardner, you'll find it slow from Jameson to the Spadina and Jarvis Ramp. The westbound Gardner QE is heavy approaching Spadina to Parkside, third line to Burl Oak, and northbound 410. Delay from Steeles to Williams Park. Continue on Steeles Avenue East. Mind, knowing that Highway 407 ETR is always there to help you see family and friends safely and reliably. This is 407ETR.com today. Now with the extended forecast, here's meteorologist Carol Hussain. The extreme cold warning continues. Do cover up all the extremities if you're heading outdoors tonight. We'll have cloudy periods. It'll be a bit on the windy side, a chance of flurries. A low of minus 21, but a wind chill near minus 30. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with a brisk northwest wind, a high of minus 15, with a wind chill near minus 25. Monday, cloudy with flurries, a high of minus 12. And Tuesday, a sun cloud mix, a chance of flurries, but windy, but a little warmer, a high of minus 9. Tonight, a low of minus 21. Right now in downtown Toronto, a few clouds, minus 7 degrees, feels like minus 13. And appears to have some light flurries now, minus 9 degrees, the wind chill of minus 17. Coming up at 4 o'clock, the latest on a body, a suspicious package found in an Oshawa apartment, and a police-involved fatal shooting in Mississauga, 680 News Time 354. It all starts with a simple question at work. What can we all do to save more energy? Then everyone starts thinking about conserving energy at work, just like they do at home. Not only does it brighten the mood, you'll see cost savings that have a direct impact on your bottom line. Small changes lead to big things. When you save energy, you power what's next. Find out more about incentives for your business by contacting your local hydro company. Visit saveonenergy.ca. Powered by the IASO and offered by your local hydro company. Maple Automall wants to give 680 News listeners a chance to save $680 at the pump. Enter for a chance to win online to the Insider Club, and you could walk away with a $680 gas gift card. Free yourself from the restrictions of fluctuating gas costs and fill your tank whenever you want to. Courtesy of Maple Auto Mall. It's simple at Maple Auto Mall. Sign up for the Insider Club at 680news.com. In the GTA, Toronto Police asking for help with an assault investigation on board a subway train. Officers were called to Bathurst subway station after getting called about a person with a knife. Police say a 29-year-old man was on board an eastbound train and got into a fight with another man. And they say the other man pulled out a knife and assaulted the 29-year-old. The suspect is described as black in his 20s and 6 feet tall with a medium build. He was wearing a black toque, jacket, and pants. He was also carrying a black backpack. Police say he was last seen getting on board an eastbound train at Bathurst station. He's considered armed, violent, and dangerous and should not be approached. If you see him, call 911. 680 News Time, 355. <laughs> That's cars with a K. Pick up is quick and easy. You'll benefit a child and get a maximum tax credit. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate. Hurry. It's your last chance to donate for 2017. Roger thinks the holiday 
Casey here with incredible offers. This season, enjoy all your photos and dazzling display on extraordinary iPhone 8 for zero dollars on select two years, share everything, or share everything for business plans. Just one of the great deals at the Raft and Red event, only at Rogers. Hurry into a Rogers store today or call one triple eight Rogers one. <laughs> Time 3.56. Now the 6 News Weekend Business Report. I'm Irene Frecklet. When it comes to millennials, there's a lot to consider when it comes to money, from first jobs to student loans and wanting to have some fun. But it's also the perfect time to start investing. Larry Moser, divisional manager for BMO Investor Line, says the key is to start early, and it doesn't have to start with a lot of money. Even if you start with $100 of paycheck when you get your first real job, and you keep that invested in the market for as long as you're working and you top it up as your pay increases even as well as two percent a year you would be surprised how much money you will grow into so for example if you put away a hundred dollars every paycheck and you get paid every two weeks when you start your first job at let's say the age of 30 and you keep that money invested and continue to contribute every two weeks until retirement you would have upwards of four hundred thousand dollars at retirement and where should you be putting your money? So let's start with the type of account. If you're saving for your retirement and you have a decent sized pay, you're going to want to open and invest in a registered retirement savings plan and get the tax credit every year for your contribution. If you're saving for a specific goal, let's say your first car or a down payment for a house, then you want to invest in a tax-free savings account because that money is accessible to you and anything you earn in that account is tax-free. So while it grows tax-free, you still have access to that money anytime you want to take it out. As for what to invest in, if you have a long-term time horizon, as many millennials do, as all millennials do in fact, you want to be invested in the market. And if you are not comfortable handling your own investments, there's a wealth of information available online in terms of how to invest in something called a robo-advisor. At the Business Center, I'm Irene Frecklet. Hi, Brian here. The Lowe's Truckload event is on now. Get Mohawk three-quarter inch country natural maple hardwood flooring for just $2.99 per square foot. Save $200 on a Cut Cadet 24-inch two-stage gas snowblower, now only $999. Save $70 on an American Standard Sonoma toilet, now only $129. Plus, get 25 bonus air miles reward miles. And save $700 on a Bosch Ascenda stainless steel dishwasher, now only $698. Offers end January 3rd. See store Lowe's.ca for details. Holiday shopping can get pretty tedious, but Chevrolet's holiday event is going to kick your holiday shopping into high gear. This season, you get 0% purchase financing and up to $4,000 in total value on the 2018 Silverado 1500 Double Cab Midnight Edition. When you apply for a GM card, there's holiday shopping and there's holiday shopping. Offer ends January 2nd. Visit OntarioChevroletDealers.ca for details. Now, 680 News Regional Weather Conditions for TD. Banking and investing in one app. Get real-time price alerts and make stock trades on the go with the TD app. It's minus 11 degrees at this hour and partly cloudy in Orangeville. Minus 9 from clouds in Richmond Hill. This is CFTR 680 News. It's 4 o'clock. <laughs> December 30th, good afternoon. In for Claire Broussard, I'm Alex Bloomfield, and in downtown Toronto, minus 7 degrees with flurries and a field from minus 13. Here's what's making news this hour. Uh, they're have to examine it now further. The discovery of a suspicious package inside an Oshawa home where a woman's body was found prompts the evacuation of several homes in the area. That package has now been rendered safe. Police in Mississauga shoot and kill a suspect early this morning after getting reports of a man with a weapon near Rathford and Tompkins. The province's police watchdog is now investigating. I get the Union Station in 20 minutes after a new GO station opened at Downsview Park. Utility workers save a two-year-old girl wearing only a diaper wandering into traffic. Canada looks to finish the round. Robin on a winning note. The Swedes lead the Swiss. The third period is now underway. And no leads tonight, but three other Canadian teams are in action. Sports at 15. And coming up in business, it was a decent year for oil, thanks in part to the OPEC cuts. So what does this mean for 2018? An expert offers his thoughts straight ahead.
Echo Transit News Station is open to Downview Park. In three Central kilometers, arrive at Tandoori Time. The train to leave the new station this morning. So just about a seamless connection it was. It's less than 20 minutes got us down into the station. station. Downview Park Station is part of the new TTC Line 1 extension. It can say customers will be able to easily connect between subway and go train service. Stations located just west of Shepherd West and Chestwood Drive on the Barry Corridor. 680 News Time 406. Yorkdale Shopping Center is crying foul over the city's holiday retail rules. The mall's director, Claire Santa Maria, tells the Toronto Star there is currently no mechanism to allow Yorkdale to apply for an exemption to holiday closing laws. She says management would like the mall to stay open on New Year's Day and just like its competitors, such as the Eaton Center, Pacific Mall, and Vaughn Mills. Under the Retail Business Act, Yorkdale's theaters and restaurants are allowed to stay open on statutory holidays, but the actual shops must remain closed. Five Toronto shopping districts have been designated as tourist attractions, allowing them to stay open every day of the year if they choose. Those are the Eaton Center, and the Bay, the Queen's Key West, the downtown Young Street, Yorkville, and the Distillery District. Now, if you think the cold sweat will let up for the new year, think again. Our meteorologist Harold Hussain says the bitter wind... Minus 30 to minus 35 by night. Harold does expose skins and trees in under 10 minutes. And not to forget about your pets. They should be limited to less than five minutes outdoors in conditions like this. Environment Canada has issued an extreme cold warning for Toronto and the GTA. Warning residents that those extreme wind chills will continue through Tuesday. Whoever is packing into Times Square tomorrow night should watch one of the coldest New Year's Eve ball drops on record. Ryan Seacrest will be hosting ABC's broadcast as he's ready to go. In terms of what will we do to prepare, I think we'll have extra layers, and I will probably have a, a notepad with a pen, so if I can't speak, I can write what's happening. This year, the forecast in New York is for minus 12 degrees Celsius, the wind chill around minus 15. The coldest New Year's Eve in the city is the 19th. Here again, the officials in Ottawa scaling back to the European party on Parliament Hill. And the party in Houston Phillips Square will now begin just before midnight. The utility workers in Massachusetts say they found a two-year-old girl wearing only a diaper wandering into traffic on a frigid day this week. The Comcast technicians told the Boston Herald they were restoring service to customers in the town of Monson near Springfield on Thursday when they spotted the child heading toward the middle of the road. The workers scooped up the child and brought her to a store where they waited for police to arrive. The girl was shaking and it turned a different color. She was taken to a hospital to be evaluated. Police are applauding the workers' quick action. They said a child's father was completely unaware she had wandered off, and charges of reckless endangerment of a child are pending. Well, the media got a rare look at President Donald Trump playing golf along his break in Florida. President Trump is clearly enjoying his holiday break here in Florida. This weekend we got a rare glimpse of the president cheering off. He's been to Trump-owned golf courses more than 60 times since he took the oath of office, but the White House rarely acknowledges whether he actually picks up his clubs on one of these outings. Well, this was the rare chance that we actually got a picture of him uh, playing golf with members of the U.S. Coast Guard here in Florida. David Wright, ABC News, West Palm Beach. It's getting news time 409. Do you go far to get your kicks and fill your feeds with foreign picks for which you bought a selfie stick? If so, sign up for this card, quick. It's Aventura, joined to suites for any airline, every seat. Then pack your bags and grab your hat and call a friend to sit your cat. Wow. Drop everything and fly with CIBC Aventura Visa. Join now and earn 15,000 Aventura points. Some conditions apply. Visit slash go now. Now that the city is gas price update, and Rupert and the price will not change at midnight, holding at 123.9 cents a liter in most GTA stations. Massive year end event is back. Right now, you can get 0% purchase financing on select new Mazda models, plus no payments until spring on all new Mazda models. It's your choice of one of three Bose wireless audio products with the purchase or lease of all new Mazda models, including the Bose Soundware Companion Speaker. In 500 meters, arrive at Tandoori Time. My subscription will texture lets me choose everything, whether it's reading a tell-all in People, or getting the latest music news in Rolling Stone, or gathering ideas to design a small space in house and home. Texture is the app that offers me great magazines at my fingertips. 
it's easy to satisfy your curiosity with texture. With over 200 magazines and counting, you can choose everything. Subscribe today at texture.ca or directly when you download the texture app. Time for 11 time for traffic and weather together on the one helping you get around the GTA today. Here's Christine Lando. Picture 45 to you by mine, but still can call the gift dot com. If you're traveling on the eastbound QEW, you'll be stuck in a line up from Wells Line over to Burmoak, and that's where they're uh, still dealing with the truck rollover. Happened at about 1220 this afternoon, so it's still there. The rain lane is still blocked. Eastbound QEW is also busy from the Nissan Gar on the area to this day, and we have delays on the eastbound Burmoak. Arriving at Tandoori Time.